this is Marche, and I am back with my July 2023 kit line up. So first up, I have this old kit from Made with Southern Love, her Black Lives Matter kit. So I'm going to use this for week one in my happy planner, which I use. It's just like my home to-do list planner. So here are your full boxes. You can get her kits a la carte and she just updated her paper. So it's a lot more pigmented and fabulous. So here's the functional sheet, the bottom washi sheet. I love this fist. It's actually available as a vinyl die cut in her shop and I need to get that. Is it still in the shop? I have to go see, but it is really cool. Then we got the box sheet half boxes, quarter boxes, and those are the four sheets I pick up when I buy her kits usually, but she did just do a slight reformat, so you should go check it out if interested and use my shade 15 to save, per usual. Um, then I have this old Lemon Breeze kit from Chic Blossom Prints. I really miss Fallon Shop. She hasn't been around the last past couple years, but this is foiled in silver and it is just beautifully done. Nice little lemon theme. You get your nine full boxes, some quarter boxes at the bottom. Got the bow, foiled bow headers. And then this is just like a mini kit as well. So I got some washi strips at the top, your bottom washi, two labels and some date covers and then sheet of boxes and that is it for week two and the last two weeks I have um, kits from sticker geek designs they are no longer open they've um, moved to the junk journaling side of the community so this was their old mini kits I have I don't have as many sticker geek kits as I used to, but I do have a few. So this washi is fabulous. You have six boxes, your checklist, more checklist, functional headers, and then the as above kit will be used in the final week. And this is, this washi is just everything. Just so good. And this is, um. This was their most recent mini kit format before they closed the shop. So that is everything in the home planner. And then we move on to my work planner. And I am currently in a print pression A5 wide with caress press inserts. So first up we have the Chillin' and Grillin' Old March Mystery from Caress Press. This is a nice little barbecue kit, perfect for the first week of July. Got this strip of washi, mini kit format, cause Maggie, her mini kits are just perfect for me. Like you get enough boxes. I don't need a label, sampler, it's just perfection. And then we get a sheet of dolls, definitely released during COVID with the mask. Um, and a full strip of bottom washi, extra full box, date dots, header, um, yeah, header. what do I, why do I call it header covers? <laughs> so yeah, that is my uh, week one, and then I have some leftovers from a SPC silver foil bundle, what is this, her twinkle foil? Twinkle design. So we got some overlays, a couple of, a little set of washi overlays, some functionals. Oh, and then this is um, a caress press functional sheet from a foil bundle. This is literally me just pulling together some scraps. <laughs> and then I got these star underlays from Happy Sticker Designs. You can use Marche 15 there. I also have these little deco pieces from Happy Stickers. Another functional sheet. Just, this is actually hollow. And this is from Scribble Prince Co. As well as this icon sheet. So just all the silver foil to go with this kit for week one. Week two, I have some options. Another caress press option, actually. I got this 
old pool party kit as a random pool years ago. You can see it has started to shrink. Um, I don't know if her current mat does this because this is an old premium mat. So I don't know if the current one does this, but caress presses stuff used to, the old paper was shrinking, but it wasn't that big of a deal to me. This format is so old. And this paper is thick, like so thick. Okay, so we get this bottom washi, which is pretty epic. That um, extra full box. And this kit is really cute. And so then she threw in the headers and the date dots. So that is one option. I need to use that um, because it is getting old, very old. And then I have this new kit from Sprinkle to Bits, um, who I PR for the seaside kit and I think this is just so pretty it's foiled in is this silver or hollow it's hollow foiled and hollow very cute this is washi so fun so I just got this and I'm very excited about it and I actually just called this so those are and then here are your fashion boxes. Um, my two options for week two. And then week three. I have no idea who I have to get up. Oh. Was week three? I don't know. So week three may be switched up too. So I have this Pirates of the Caribbean inspired photo kit from BNR Paper Craft. This is an old kit, but I love this kit. And I feel like, aren't they making a new Pirates of the Caribbean movie? I feel like there was some announcement recently where it was like, Disney said it is definitely a priority to give us a new Pirates of the Caribbean love how she gave us like four extra full boxes um so i don't have to save it because i already have another pirates kit i think i have two actually <laughs> but this is an option as well as these pirate life underlays in gold hollow from Planet hannah um i might just go ahead and use that and then lastly sorry for the Haunted Mansion comes out in July, and I am excited because that is one of my favorite, like, spooky movies, family-friendly spooky movies. So, we have the Old School Haunted Magic Kit from um, Scribble Prince Co. I've never used this kit. It has just been sitting in my collection, waiting to be used, but it is a mini kit, and it is fabulous. Got the free boxes and then did I add on? Oh, this was back when you had to get the glitter headers, y'all. Like this is old, but definitely going to make it work. Look at the washi, so cute. So got that and then I got some foil pieces from Alicia Craft, her haunted mansion collection is pretty epic so this is in lavender foil i just got one strip and then i got the she had several underlay patterns but i had to get um the wallpaper of course in lavender foil as well and then she threw in an oops because she's awesome and then i got the keys and i'm just i can't wait to lay down these haunted mansion spreads i have one more but that is from our work planner lastly we have my memory planner so i have the june 22 mystery kit from pink diamond planner co these colors are just really pretty nice summer kit this is her epic format and it is just full of everything that you would ever need like look at these two extra boxes. Her kits are so fun to work with because you just have so many boxes. Like 
if you are a bougie planner, you're just going to have a fabulous time. And look at the dog. Like, look how fabulous. The extra scene. Like, her mysteries are everything. That tall box is everything. It's just giving you everything it should be given. And it came with this super pretty hollow. I think it has some type. Does it have like an effect? Or is it just regular hollow? But this foil bundle with like the palm leaves. So pretty. And the seashells. It's just so pretty. The tall box comes with it. Icon scripts. And then your two sheets of bougie. And then, of course, your foil sampler. It sounds like it's like a wave. A wave effect. So that's week one. Week two is, um, I want to say ice cream week. Ice cream day is July 16th, and I'm pretty sure that is going down in week two. So I have the OG SPC ice cream shop mystery. Just been hanging out in my collection, but that, that one from last year, y'all, just everything I cannot wait to get my hands on that one but old format of course just an oldie I love the pop of black um so yeah I've just been saving this kit to use for ice cream day Ooh, I love a good plain foil I mean plain box for a good quote box overlay Washi is really cute. Here's your strip, your glitter handlers, your label add-on, your fashion, your journaling card, <laughs> and then all the foil that came with it, I think. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use, this actually came today. Is this going to, we're going to make it happen. <laughs> This rose gold ice cream bundle from Happy Sticker Designs. So it's just, just a nice themed situation. Like, I want to lay this down, like, today. Yeah, this is going to be cute. And I asked her to do an ice cream bundle just so I could pair it with this kit. So, yeah, that is going to be a week two. And I'll have to put this other foil to the, in my foil binder week two okay so week three is barbie week right and now we gotta do a barbie kit so kittenish just came through for us last last year so we have the pink dreams art from happy sicker designs so cute did i get this in a full yeah, this is the full kit. I um, picked this yellow because, you know, of course I'm going to pick yellow. And just look how cute Barbie is. I'm loving this yellow in this kit. I can't wait to see the movie. This is her full kit format. And it is another one that is just full of boxes, like two extra colors. It's crazy. Your strips of washi are pre-cut for you. Extra full box, like everything, everything. And then this is the freebie all those dolls which is so fun and then alicia craft came through for us again with the doll collection so i picked these like the silhouette um head underlays and then i got the barbie and ken this is in is this in pink hollow pretty sure it's pink hollow pink hollow foil so barbie and ken Got the bottom washi. I got the doll corners. Because full box overlays can be a little overwhelming for me at times. So the corners are just a little a little speck of foil. And then I got lots of headers because I think she threw some in. So this week is going to be fabulous. It's just going to be a fabulous month. And then we have another Haunted Mansion kit because why not? 
So this is the OG from Glam Planner. As you can see, I've used it before and I have my leftovers here. So I got the mini kit since I have leftovers. And this, like when this first came out, with that like pop of that green, like, ooh, I was like, yes, this kit is about to be everything. So got that. And then here is like the extra scene. And just like all my leftovers from the old kit. It's just like nothing special, actually. Oh, I was like, did I get the full box? So I had to get the big box because it is everything stuck with the same underlays, but just got them in green. Is this lime green, maybe? So cute. And then also got the header overlays. I don't think I got a strip for that. I feel like I forgot the strip for that one. But I'll have to pick it up at some other time to go with the washi. But the washi isn't too bad. Maybe I have something in my stash, actually. So, yeah. That is everything that I have for you for July. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.